Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday the 27th of August, we're off up to Scotland, to Musselburgh. Good, fast, ground, expected, competitive racing as usual. Hopefully you found a couple of winners. We start off with our betting expert daily nap. This goes in the 310. It's the Bob Veach 90th birthday bash handicap. Five furlongs and one yard. A class six for three-year-olds and upwards. £3,600 to the winner. And I think Dunnington Lad can win again for Peter Winks. Now, Peter only got a handful of horses these days, but he is in the winners. He's had one winner from his last four runs. I always like that with small yards. They can often hit a purple patch. And Dunnington Lad won at Ripon on the 11th of August, well backed from a mark of 53 under today's claimer, Ethan Jones, who's very good value for that £5. Watch the run back. He made most of the running. He was driven mad throughout by protest rally, but he kept pulling out extra, showing a really good attitude on rattling fast ground. Now, he's gone up just £2 for that, which I think is fair. I think this speed track at Musselburgh will suit him. Fast ground is optimum. I think he's going to make a bold bid to make all the running. When he's played in, he's a pretty reliable performer he's run 18 times on the turf five wins and i think his early speed will be a real asset in this modest class six our betting expert value angle selection goes in the 340 it's the lens self-storage 60th anniversary handicap one mile and two yards again a class six for four-year-olds and upwards but to be fair to musselburgh over six thousand two hundred pounds the winner which at this level is pretty good prize money these days and i think fan zone can turn silvers into gold for liam bailey now this one barely misses a meeting at Musselburgh he's got a lot of seconds on his dance card he's definitely quirky he's got an amazing career record actually he's run 39 times in his life he's only managed one win but he has been placed on 13 occasions Um, he's run I think it's 11 times since returning in March off a wind operation and he's been placed um, on all but three of those runs his last uh, three efforts have all come at this track over one mile one twice and over seven furlongs last time uh, that was just off a mark of 46 but he's shaped really well under Jack Garrity and watched the run back this morning well Doomsday made all the running um, to win pretty readily and unchallenged under Billy Garrity and Jack Garrity was on fan zone and he absolutely fell out the stalls and struggled to go the early pace but flew home late finishing with loads of running left in the tank so I think this return to a mile will suit him they should go a good gallop I know he's quirky but you're getting a price to reward that he's fully exposed seven year old but he's off a mark of 47 here he loves the track there's very few realistic candidates I'm pretty confident if he sees daylight late he will have to go very close here under Billy Garrity Best Best of luck on Tuesday betting experts and please do remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos.